Okay, there's a couple ways to crop video. First, I'm going to show you how to crop this top clip on my timeline and this bottom clip. Let's begin by selecting one of the mask tools in the viewer. Drag to select the part of the video you'd like to crop out. Then use the selection tool to reposition the mask over the part of the video you want to crop. Finally, to move the crop picture in the frame, just reselect your top video clip on the timeline and drag it with the selection tool. But let's say you only have one video clip in your editor and you want to export a crop version of it with a new resolution. To do this, let's go over to the Media tab and click the New button. Select Composite Shot. In here, change the width and height to what you want to crop your video to. Remember these dimensions because you'll need them for later. If you're not sure what dimensions to use, you may need to experiment a little bit. Okay, now drag your video clip from the media bin onto your composite shot. In the viewer, use the selection tool to reposition your video in the crop frame. Once you're satisfied with how it looks, click the export button. Select contents. In here, your composite shot should be added to the queue, not the editor timeline's contents. Now let's click the new preset button, and I'm just going to select MP4. Give your preset a name if you want, and then next to dimensions, uncheck use source. Click the little chain link to turn off the scaled aspect ratio. Now just type the dimensions that you set your composite shot to. Mine were 900 by 900. Then make sure you change the scale mode to ignore aspect ratio, otherwise your video will have black around it. Back over in the queue, change the preset to the one you just created. Then click Start Exporting to export your new crop video. Now when I play this back with the media player of my choice, the video will be cropped to my new resolution. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.